So the heat is definitely beating down on me. Day one, we're gonna go ahead and find a spot, set up camp, and that way when we go to film and stuff tomorrow, we'll be well rested. We're gonna get to uh, our primary camp, a base camp for our actual business, Survival Living LLC. We're almost there. We're gonna get there, set up camp, and tomorrow we're gonna head back off. Alright, so we got camp set up. I'm beat. I'm gonna take the next couple of days and rest up here. It looks like it's evening, but it's not. It looks like a storm cloud above us. I'm hoping it rains like crazy. I do, because we got an issue. I don't know if you can see it back here. We got a gallon of water in the Sawyer. That's a Sawyer gravity fed system. Sawyer products work great. They come with a little plunger. You can back flush them anytime they get clogged up. 100,000 gallons. I can't find my back plunger. I don't know if it got left at the house or it fell out of my water kit while I was down by the stream. So basically, my Sawyer stopped up. I tried blowing through it, you know, the other end. It's, it's not doing it. So, what we've done, we've got a three-tier water filter. I'll show you that here in a second. I took my poncho and strung out there to collect rainwater because right now that's how much water we got left but we got a gallon don't get me wrong I got a canteen halfway full of filtered water but I don't have a fire yet that just takes the longest. You got to run it through the water filtration system. Then you got to boil it. Then you got to capture it once it cools. It takes a while. We are almost two miles from the river. I would have camped closer, but I couldn't find any flat ground, open up area to set up camp. And I could have done like a stealth camping right up on something, but I wanted some room. So we got a nice camp set up. Like I said, it's about two miles. Basically, to fill these up, I use our dry bags. I don't, I don't carry that. That stays in camp. I fill up our dry bags with water and bring them up here. And then I spend time filtering through the camp Sawyer. But, um, yeah. Let me show you our water filtration system. Yeah, I'm in my... I'm in my shorts. Uh, it's just that hot out here. Um, I can't even wear my boots. It's that hot. So this is our three-tier water filtration system. Sorry if I feel a little, sound a little loopy. I'm exhausted. It's hot. We've got a uh, reindeer moss, charcoal from our fire last night, and a bed of sand. You pour it in. You cash it down there, and then you get to bull. So. This has been a lifesaver this trip since we lost our plunger for our Sawyer that's over there and I can't, uh, I can't unclog it. First thing I want to show you, we've got our tarp right here, right? Rain starts coming down good. This can actually be lowered, tied off down here with my stake and it'll work as a tarp or a rain poncho actually. 
is, and we'll be able to collect rainwater that way. Let me get my uh, toggle back in here. So right now, it's set up to run off the back side. But I can concentrate it here, collect rainwater. Oh, this is our Sawyer. This is the gallon bladder. Unfortunately, our Sawyer has stopped up. Usually, you just take the end off, put your plunger on it with some clean water, and back flush it out, and you're good to go. But without the plunger, it's it stopped. Uh, this thing here, I've had this for a very long time. I cleaned it all out before we left. And I think maybe I left it. And our poncho. I tied up the uh, headgear down the center. I'll, show, I'll go underneath the bottom and show you this. That's why we do have a rain collector to actually collect water. Save me all my time and travel to and from the river as long as we're getting rain. Okay, so our headgear. I tied it, folded it, and retied it. This uh, red cable you see here, I got tied around a log. And it's, instead of, I don't have any stones. You can put stones in there, it'll help catch everything. But this rain, rain poncho is very good. Uh, it'll collect the water, and then we'll be able to capture as much as possible. Adds more to it. It's not the biggest surface area, but it's not bad. I mean, it's like four and a half foot by seven when it's opened up. So hopefully we can catch the rainwater this way as well. It'd be a big, big plus. It's like anything that could go wrong on this trip did from the heat, the heat index. I tell you what, we're probably going to wind up having to cancel um, August's survival classes because I'm out here all the time and it has put a beating on me. So we actually have three courses lined up in August. We might be canceling it. I'll be contacting you guys that have uh, scheduled for that. Because if this heat stays the way it is, I'm not taking anybody out here. There's just no way. It's too, it's too hard of a course. I mean, even without the training that I put people through out here, it's just hard enough to keep from passing out. That's how hot it is down here. Seriously. I like the overcast. I'm 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 praying to start thunder. I'm praying for a downpour of rain. I'm drinking more water an hour than I'm collecting. Let's put it that way. My dry bags are ones over there. My sleeping bag's in it. Uh, my dry bags are 10 liters. I fill two of those up. Probably about 7 liters, 7 to 6 liters. Truck them back up here. And I was running them through the water filter. Now we're using our tripod. I hear rain. Oh, thank God. I hear rain. This is good. I hope we get a downpour. I really do. Man, I hope we do. Because trying to walk to and from that uh, creek, toting this stuff in this heat, that's another thing. You just might go down there. <laughs> I dive in the water. And we got alligators down here. I dive in the water, cool off, fill up water, and then come all the way back up here just sweating like crazy. Oh, yeah, we got rain. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so now it's time for me to get to work. I'm excited. <laughs> Never thought I'd be excited about rain. Oh, man. So I haven't eaten. I uh, got this, the hearty chili mac. I was going to eat it last night. It was too hot. I was too tired. I went to bed. I didn't eat anything last night. I feel it today. And I want to eat something today, but it's just been so freaking hot. So hopefully with this rain, cool down everything. And we'll cook some dinner. Alright, so it didn't rain yet, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and get started on dinner. Like I said, I didn't eat yesterday. So we have our uh, Ma's Hearty Chili Mac. I've never tried this before. This is for Patriots. Again, guys, we're affiliated with Four Patriots. Like I said, this trip, I wanna take a lot of their gear out. So we'll be doing some taste testing on this. Uh, whisk contents in a pouch, a pouch into nine cups of boiling water. So we're gonna kind of shift through and just make, make a meal size out of this. Eight servings per container. Well, we're probably gonna go for about three servings on this meal. So what we have is one of their little stoves. This is their uh, Starfire stove. And I've never used it before. Pretty cool. It reminds me of those little rocket stoves, okay? This thing here has a built-in chamber. Air goes in through these stars. It comes out through these stars here. So it just locks right in here. Set your pot on top. Feed your twigs in this. So, very cool. I'm gonna give it a shot. Never, I mean, this thing's brand new. We haven't even used it yet. So I brought it out here because I want to try it. Uh, it is a twig fire uh, stove. So I got some twigs over here that we're gonna start on and we'll just slowly feed it in here. I've got to say, I'm really liking the stove. <laughs> this thing's freaking awesome. I'm going to have to get my gloves out of my pack. Um, most of the time, this stove does pretty good, but I already burned my hands too many times camping. So I'm going to go get my uh, leather gloves out. I mean, look at this thing. That is putting out some, that is putting out some fire. This thing is freaking awesome. I love it clean too there's no smoke we got soot from the pot that's it there's there's no smoke this is awesome i mean then the fire is just engulfing this whole thing that's how much fire is coming out of this holy crap and you guys saw i just put twigs in here pine needles get it started okay i took my mill off to show you this now looking at this fire, you see that there's extra holes on the inside of that chamber. It's like a blast furnace. That is cool. I did not know that until we're trying it right now. You guys are seeing the first time I've used it. It actually was like a blast furnace. I mean, they're, the flumes coming out of those chambers. Okay, so it looks like our dinner's cooled down. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. The coal bed is still hot. I'm just going to slide that out of the way. I mean, look, guys. The ground is not even hot underneath this where I was cooking. That's freaking awesome. I was kind of worried about that. I was kind of testing it out to see if there's a heat transfer or anything like that. None. So we do have dinner, finally. And I've been looking forward to it, and I lost my spork. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, it's behind me. All right, so we got our spork here. And again, our tent life, brother, the K-Bar spork that you gave me, freaking awesome. So I guess you guys want to check out the taste test, huh? Hmm. It's not too spicy, so I have ulcers. I was kind of worried about that. So that's for Patriots, Ma's Hardy Chili Mac. I love Chili Mac, but I have to be careful because my ulcers. Very, very good. I cooked up the entire, I mean, this is, this here, 60, 60 ounces. I cooked up every single bit of it. Mm. It's hot. And I'm going to eat every bit of it too. So, top this off again. This is uh, eight servings per container. That's a half cup dry, about a cup prepared. So, eight cups. Not bad. I mean, I'm going to eat every single bit of this thing. So, it's got beans in it. It does have some, some type of spice. I guess chili spice. It's not overpowering. It's not, you know, it doesn't, it's not going to burn my gut. Let's put it that way. But out here, in the middle of freaking nowhere awesome i'm glad i packed these 
I wanted to do the taste test and stuff, guys. I wanted to test out, taste out. I wanted to test out how well these things cook out here. I mean, I'm out here in the bush. I haven't felt like eating, to be honest. It's been so freaking hot. But today, it's the end of the day. I'm exhausted. Two days without eating. I'm going to be eating every single bit of this. And since we do have sunlight, I've got our four Patriot uh, solar chargers. These are uh, battery banks. They're 8,000 milliamp hours. Okay. So I'm going ahead and top off my cell phones while I still have uh, sunlight. Now I do have my camera backup batteries and stuff like that, but we're testing these things out too. Works very well. I was kind of concerned because of the Florida heat. I was worried about, uh, let me shut this down so I don't lose all my heat. Keep that nice and hot. I was worried about the Florida sun hurting these because I've actually had that happen with other solar uh, charging stations like this. I had in direct sunlight today, no issue. I've actually had batteries swell up because of that. Didn't have any issues, but what I noticed is that it still charges during ambient light too. Even with the shade, I'm still getting a charge on it. All right guys, so we always try to be as open as we can on this channel. Every time I come out here and do these outdoor survival videos, I try to show you what exactly I go through so you can learn from it. Well. It should be a video popping up for you right now, okay? That was taken on my cell phone about 20 minutes ago, and it's getting worse. I got a very big storm coming out of nowhere, coming up on me. So, as you guys know, I carry a tent with me to keep all of my camera equipment uh, protected. Well, tonight we're getting in that. So we got a tarp. And let me get my light on brighter. So we got a tarp, of course. So we have a blanket down there. And I got the tent underneath here. I gotta get the other cameras and stuff and get those inside. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, we are I always try to be as open as I can. I'm taking shelter because of that lightning storm. I'm not playing around with it. Basically, the best thing to do, lay low as much as possible. I'm not even hearing any thunder from this. That's straight heliarching like crazy. I've not heard a single thunder, but it's just getting brighter and bigger and coming my way. So tonight, I will be taking refuge in the tent. That is the tent I usually use for all of our camera equipment. And I usually just use the tarp for myself. Well, not tonight. I brought it and stuck it underneath the tarp. It's actually right on top of my survival blanket down there. I just threw it up in here. 